Well, a former Disney employee is facing some charges accused of hacking company servers to change menu information, including the allergy guidelines, all of it after he was fired. And this all came out after an investigation by the FBI. News 6 reporter Stephanie Rodriguez breaks down the accusations. After a Winter Garden man's, quote, contentious termination from Disney, he allegedly accessed company servers to alter food menus. The criminal complaint alleges the attacks began as more benign with changes to the fonts on the menu and adding profanity. Investigators say they quickly escalated with this person changing the allergen information on the menus, saying that items were safe for people with peanut allergies when they could in fact be deadly. The impacted menus were identified by Disney before going to restaurants, but it's estimated he caused at least $150,000 in damages. A search warrant discovered a folder with the personal information of former co-workers. It's believed he used that information to briefly show up at one person's home. These kind of attacks are very uncommon, but it, when it does happen, it's very detrimental. The president of Hack UCF, a collegiate cybersecurity club, says it's likely this man wasn't properly offboarded. It's normally a normal procedure that you would remove all access, whatever he has access to, rotate all the passwords, but in this case, it didn't. He encourages businesses to protect themselves by being aware of suspicious activity after someone leaves the company. Assume compromise in the sense that if one aspect gets compromised that they have access to, you have other layers of security to kind of like back you up so they don't have the keys to the kingdom, as we say. I spoke with the former employee's attorney who said in a statement, my client has a disability that impacted his employment at Disney. Disney refused to provide a response as to why he was fired and made no accommodations for him. He says his client will plead not guilty. I also reached out to Walt Disney, but didn't hear back. In Orlando, Stephanie Rodriguez, Getting Results, News 6.